Carol Schiffer at Colbo Banker in Brentwood. And in line with some of the previous videos that I've uh, done, I'm going to share with you some of the changes that I made in my house when I purchased it. First of all, I never thought I would be living in a trapped house, which I am and have for the last 25 odd years. Because I wanted something that was going to be different and unique in my design all in of itself. And guess what? For a lot of different reasons, I ended up buying this, this home that I live in and I love in Bel Air Crest. And it was a floor plan that I selected. I loved the location, I loved the view, and the layout pretty much worked for me. But I did make some changes. Uh, I had a custom surround created for my fireplace. The windows I thought were in the wrong place in the house. It had fab it has a fabulous view of the Mountain Gate uh, golf course. And there were smaller windows that didn't take advantage of that view. So I took those windows out and in the living room and dining area, which are next to one another, I put floor to ceiling glass windows to take advantage of this view. I did the same thing in my bedroom, which is right above the, uh, the living room, because there were, there were windows on either side of the bed wall that looked in my neighbor's house. I don't need to see my neighbor's house, but I wanted to see this view and take advantage of it. So I did that. Um, the other thing that I did, which is kind of a funny story in and of itself, we designed the sink for the powder room. I didn't take the custom sink that came with the house and had it made. And when I get to know you better, I'll tell you about the stories and picking it up because I had it made in Tijuana. It was very interesting visit to do that. And so what I'm asking you, what changes have you made in your home, whether you own it or rent it? is to make it your, yours. It goes back to what we've been talking about, how do you live in your house? And many times I'll be showing a house to someone and they can't stand the carpet, they can't stand whatever it might be, and I can't move in until I do this. My recommendation is to them, particularly if you own it, not so much when you rent it. Unless it's horrible, 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 live with it for a while because what's going to happen is something you thought you hated or couldn't use is not the thing you want to change first. And there have been a number of times, I remember this one condo in, in Malibu that I sold that had turquoise carpet. And the, the buyer said, this has to come out right away. And I shared what I just shared with you about keeping it. When I went to sell the house five years later, guess what was still on the floor? That turquoise carpet. But she'd made another number of other changes in the house that worked for her until she wanted to move on to a house. So let me know what you're doing. Let me know what you think. And I'm at C.E. Schiffer, S-C-H-I-F-F-E-R at gmail.com or theschifferlot.com. Talk to you soon. Bye.